Welcome to Asia's IS Institute. This is a website www.asia.com. In this video, we are going to discuss important topics from current affairs under history and culture. So in current affairs, we upload daily current affairs and even monthly compilations are available here. But presently, what we are going to discuss are important keywords for prelims 2019. So various topics under it. Like first, in this video, we're going to discuss culture and history. So under culture and history, all the important topics have been put up here. You can uh, have a look here. So this, you can download the image as such too. You can save the image. And here you can see. So here you can see, we'll zoom it up. We're going to discuss all important keywords. So starting from April 2018, Till uh, presently, we can discuss till March 2019. So last one year. So these are important keywords from the monthly compilation of April 2018, starting with that. So these are the six important keywords for culture and history. First one is Jagannath Temple. So Jagannath Temple, you should know, first of all, it is in Puri in Odisha. It can be a match also in UPSC, you know, various temples and where are they located. So at least or the, if there are matches, which is the incorrect pair, you should be able to identify it. You should know that this temple is dedicated to three deities, that is Krishna, Balabhadra and Subhadra. Also, it was in news recently, you can see the April compilation. You can even download the monthly compilations. Our monthly compilations are available here on the website as such too. So starting from you know for april 2018 which we are discussing right now so in this monthly compilation also you can see this is the news odisha high court pulls up jagannath temple administration so this was because of the management of the crowd here so this is here jagannath temple so this was the news that you know the delays by the sri jagannath temple administration in deciding when the prayer hall of the temple would be open up to devotees so, you know, Archaeological Survey of India has took up, uh, taken up repairs works here. So, that was the news. So, Jagannath Temple has been in news. So, that is why this keyword. So, basically what we should know is what is mentioned here. You don't need to know the background. That, that is not a question which will be asked. The question will be asked on this. Then even, uh, and further details are also there. If you need more detail, you are not satisfied with just one line. This is the further detail regarding Jagannath Temple. Jagannath as the term means Lord of the Universe. So it was one of the four divine abodes lying on four directions of the compass. So this is in Puri. So Chardham. So Puri is one of them. So this is there. You can see it's mentioned. Dedicated to Krishna, Balabhadra and Subhadra. So if you want further de details like when was it built in 12th century AD by King Chhado Ganga of Eastern Ganga dynasty. You can go and visit our website, download the, the com monthly compilation and see further details too. But the gist, the crux and what should be at least done in for last minute revision is this so this is jagannath temple then ancient monuments archaeological sites and remains act has also been in news so you should know about that too here you can see this is the news this is regarding uh, black and red pottery ware which has been found as such here you can see in a village in west bengal so mound uh, in a village in west bengal has uh, given these details so that is fine and this is regarding our ancient monuments and archaeological sites and remains act. So in January 2018, central government also amended this act to allow infrastructure projects within 100 meter radius of a protected monument. So that's why it has been in use. So it allows infrastructure projects now within 100 meter also. Otherwise, it was not allowed earlier. So that is a concern for no, for archaeological sites, and this is specifically with respect to Charminar. So you should know about Charminar also, Charminar of Hyderabad. So when was it built? Further detail is given here. You can see a keyword also mentions it. The third keyword is Charminar, located in Hyderabad, Telangana. Civic work is going here on here. That is pipeline work just 200 meters away from the from, uh, from the uh, Charminar landmark. So it is situated on east bank of Musi River. It uh, was constructed by the Qutub Shahi dynasty Qutub Shah. So it is a style of Islamic architecture which is used here. So here you can see. So it's a monument and a mosque. Then next keyword, 
the fourth keyword is Guru Nanak. So Guru Nanak, his 550th birth anniversary is going to be observed in November 2019. So this has prominently been in news. So you should know about this as well. So again in news, that also is in news, you should know. Here you can see Guru Nanak. So Nanak Shah Fakir. So Sikh groups are protesting against Nanak Shah Fakir, the movie release. So it's on the life of Guru Nanak. So you should know about Guru Nanak Dev and uh, anyway he is also in news with respect to the corridor, uh, Kartarpur Sahib corridor which is in news between India and Pakistan. So here further details regarding Guru Nanak are also given. He is the founder of Sikh religion. His birthday is celebrated on April 14th by the Sikhs. So here you can see the three main teachings of Guru Nanak were Nam Japna that is remembering God, Kirat karna that is work and earn a livelihood by honest means and one chakna to share the wealth with everyone so that's important then next is this terminology here ashta dhatu which actually means an alloy comprising of eight precious metals ashta means eight so idols made of ashta dhatu are known so that way it is in use and this is regarding the prehistoric rock art site which has been unearthed in Guntur in Andhra Pradesh too. So, okay. And then you have the Varangal Dhuris which have been given the GI tag. So our next keyword is Varangal Dhuris. Dhuris basically mean carpets. So they are from Varangal which is in present day Telangana. It has been given the GI tag, geographic identification tag. Geographic indication tag. So it has bright colors, geometrically repetitive patterns, and interlocking zigzag motifs in cotton and jute. So these are signature styles of these carpets, Varangal Dhuris, you can see. Then next keyword is adopt a heritage scheme. So this is a scheme which the government has launched in September 2017 to provide public amenities by private organizations, PSU organizations or individual involvement. So it's actually uh, public amenities here would mean, you know, uh, like toilets or seating benches or other such beautification, etc. So such amenities would be provided in uh, monuments through private participation so private sector would not be paid up anything uh, so but then they would be providing these facilities as such so of course it would result in advertisement of that group they would be mentioning their name etc that you know it has been put or maintained by a particular group so this is the dalmya bharat group under the mou with government now would maintain the uh, red Ike, red fort so the red fort will be maintained by dalmya bharat group so it has committed a sum of 25 crore for the purpose for a period of five years. So these basic facilities are also mentioned here like providing the drinking water kiosk, street furniture like benches, signages to guide the visitors, you know, uh, toilets, etc. So this is there. Then this is regarding the case. Now religion can't bar a person from rendering own version of it. So it is violation of secularism for a religion to bar a person from writing a book about it. So there cannot be just one book about a religion. So this is a statement, uh, an observation which Supreme Court has made on a plea by Sikh religious bodies on the release of the national award winning and censor board certified movie Nanak Shafaki. So it's a human characterization of Guru Nanak which is opposed. Why a human is characterizing the Guru. And again, this is Supreme Court ruling right to convert is part of fundamental right of choice. So Supreme Court has held that a person's right to choose a religion and marry is intrinsic part of his or meaning, meaningful existence. So this was in the Hadia case, which was prominently in news. So uh, High Court had actually called marriage a sham and referred it to it as love jihad as claimed by the father of the girl. But then Supreme Court has upheld right to freedom of religion. So this is the entire Akhila who was uh, who converted and was named Hadia. So this is a case uh, as such. She was kept under house arrest by her father. But then the Supreme Court ruled, you know, upholding right to freedom of religion. So these were the important keywords from current affairs from April 2018 as such. So this is the gist of it too. Next we would do May 2018 in the next video. Thank you.